Hi, in this video, we are going to see how we can extract text from a PDF file. Today, a lot of document come in form of PDF files. It can be your public listed public company filings in part of quarterly or annual report. It can be your invoices that comes in PDF file or there are a lot of business data that comes in PDF files. So we need the mechanism where we can extract this information and store it in a way or organize the data in a way that it can be used for analysis. So let's see how we can perform that in a pretty uh, simple and easy step. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm installing a package called Poplar over here. It's a Linux based package and it's basically a PDF rendering software. Right, so that's what the popular UTC is. It's kind of a PDF viewer, viewer in a Linux system. So I'm installing it and then I am installing a package called PDF2 image. The PDF2 image is a wrapper around this Poplar utils. So basically Poplar has a lot of command line utilities that you can uh, run and take it. This PDF2 image is just a wrapper around it where you can use it in Python. And I'm going to eco use easy OCR to extract the data from PDF. Basically it's an optical character recognition software where it can read data from images or it can read data from uh, other uh, files, mostly images, but you, other files you can convert into image and then you can use it to read it. I have already installed uh, this one as it's going to take some time and I'm importing uh, the set of packages from PDF to image, uh, basically taking the PDF file and converting it to image. That's what it does. I am importing convert from path. Convert from path, basically I'm going to give an location of a PDF file and then I'm going to convert it. If your data is in a byte array, there is one more function called convert from array. You can use that. I'm importing easy OCR uh, for uh, reading the data from once we convert it into image. I'm using just NumPy uh, pill to uh, pill to basically load the image and again like pillow software to draw uh, bounding boxes that we are going to infer from easy OCR and spacey to perform like lame named entity recognition. So after we have the soft uh, after we have the data converted in text format, I want to identify key entities. So that's why I'm using spacey. Now, once I have done that, I am uh, initializing the easy OCR package. I'm telling easy OCR dot reader and it will give me a reader object that I can use. And I'm telling English as my language. If you have PDF file in other language, uh, you can set that language. You can check the easy OCR documentation. There are a lot of language support is there. A lot of Indian, a lot of other language support is there. European languages, you can use that. Here I'm going to just use, it, use uh, English uh, PDF docs. Right. I am downloading a resume. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to take a resume. I'm going to pass the resume and extract information. So you can think it as a resume parser software as well that we are going to build. So let me run this and it will download the uh, PDF file uh, to my local. The PDF file name is functional sample.pdf. Now what I'm going to do is the PDF to image I have imported convert from path. I am passing this PDF file and it will return me a list of images. Say if a PDF file has 10 files, uh, 10 pages, then it will return like a list of 10 images to me. Uh, but in my case, I just downloaded a PDF file. It's a sample PDF file that is available in the internet, um, which has only one page, uh, just to quickly show the functionality. But it can read all the pages in a PDF file. Right. So I'm downloading it and what I'm doing is I have only one file so I'm taking that uh, zeroth index and then I'm displaying it. It is just a handy function to display the image in uh, your Jupyter notebook and that's what I'm doing. I'm call calling ipython.display and I am uh, call showing the image. So once I run the image, you can see this is how the data looks like. This is basically a resume of, uh, a, resume of a person and basically you can uh, see over here it has the education and other information. Let me quickly scroll on the top. Yeah, this is how the resume looks like. You have the name, address, career summary, and it's all this experience. There's only one page resume, but if you have multiple page resume, you will get like image of zero array, image of one, image of two index, right? That you can use. So now once I have this particular image, now what I can do is I can pass it to easy OCR. So in the easy OCR, I created the reader object. I'm telling read text. I'm taking that image object. This, this image is a pill uh, image, a pillow image. I need to convert into 
into an array. So I'm just using a numpy.array and passing it. And I'm setting some parameters. You can run this without these parameters also. It will work pretty good. I just set some parameter that tells like what is the minimum threshold I need to look for. What is the decoder I need to use? There are multiple decoders available in easy OCR. Uh, one, I'm using Beam Search. The default is greedy. I have covered this easy OCR in detail in one of my previous video. Maybe you can click the link on the top and check if you want to know more about easy OCR or I will put the easy OCR link in the video description as well. But here I'm going to more focus on um, the, the conversion part and what I can do with the conversion. So I'm just reading the text. It's going to kind of uh, return me an uh, object called bounds, which is nothing but the different uh, bounding ranges within the PDF file. If you see on the top education, right? Education will be an bounding box. University of Arkansas at Little Rock will be an bounding box. So that's what it's going to return me. Let me quickly run this. And uh, there you can see like it takes the PDF file. The PDF file is in image format now. It's going to run and it's going to extract all the content from this particular resume. Now you can see like it has given some output over here. It is these are all like bounding box location and all. It is selling GPA, development, elementary education, childhood. Uh, the conversion is pretty good with ECOCR in this case. Uh, so you can see that now the best way to see this is basically uh, take this data and uh, draw draw the bounding box on top of the image. So it will give you a better idea. Let's do that. So I'm created a function called draw boxes. I am using the pill image draw and then I'm drawing on top of the image and then I'm iterating to the bounding box. Right. And then drawing a uh, basically a bounding box in the image, like what are the values that are getting extracted? And I'm calling this draw box image with the uh, image of zero that I extracted. Right. Now, if, if you see over here, the output, you can see basically these are all the different values that are getting extracted over here. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information. I'm going to create a string and pass it to named entity recognition and see what it recognizes. Right. That's what I'm going to try. Now, the NER might not be perfect because I'm using the default NER. What you can do is basically you can go and train your custom named entity with, with your business context specific or file specific information so that it can the detection quality will be better. Right. Or the detection accuracy will be better. And now, again, I have a separate video on custom named entity and I'll put that in the video description. You can check that out. Uh, so now I have the bounding box, everything. I can just print a particular bounding box as well. So in this case, I'm just printing the name and telling like the first bounding box, uh, the, 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 the second bounding box either because it starts with a zero array and I'm telling print the uh, text over there. The print is John W. Sumit. That was the name in the resume. Now I'm going to iterate through this bounce. If you see, I'm just iterating to this length of bounding boxes and then I'm concatenating it into a single text. So, I'm, and here I'm telling like bounds of uh, uh, high, which is nothing but uh, the, the index of the extraction and the text itself. The same value that we are seeing over here, it one will be trust, uh, extraction, zero will be the bounding box location. You can see on the top over here that we extracted. In this case, each is an uh, array. Zero array is the bounding box and the array of one is the text actually that is there. And this is the confidence interval. So I'm taking the text and I am concatenating the text in this case. That's what I'm doing over here and I'm printing the text. So it's going to iterate and then create a one concatenated text. This is how the text looks like the entire resume, right? John W. Sumit address and everything. Now I have this text. I'm going to uh, pass it to Spacey. So I'm, I'm loading the default English model in Spacey and that gives me the NLP object. I am passing the text that I created on the top to this NLP object so that I can get a document instance. And then I'm, I'm uh, using an Andy function in Spacey called DisplayC, which displays the named entity in a very uh, rich way, right? That's what I'm using. And I'm telling the displayc.render, I'm, I'm taking this NLP document.txt that I created. And then I am just uh, telling Jupyter equal to true. So it will print, it will just give me a good way of visualizing the data. You can see over here, this is how the output looks like. And let me do one thing, let me go from the beginning over here. And you can see like John W. Sumit is a person. Uh, the Fort Collins is a location. It's a geopolitical entity. Four years is a date. So basically we have extracted a lot of information. Monthly is a date. 
uh, oversaw maybe this 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 are wrong uh, output it just oversaw somebody has oversaw yes oversaw some uh, activities that's what it mentions so it has kept as a person uh, which signifies him that's why we need to retrain and get more information but if you see over here the westley center is an organization that he worked for in the employment industry section little rock is a geopolitical entity arkansas and all the date it has done a pretty decent job so actually like in very simple way we are able to resume parser now we can go and order it and we can uh, we can basically add more intelligence based on our uh, domain understanding and the 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 resume understanding of what are all the other factors that come in that may be programming language so we can create a custom named entity for a programming language and all but what we did here is we have a pdf file we extracted content out of the pdf file and we quickly ran and named entity recognition